Aquarius. Hi. All right. Let's take a peek at your person. Um, I feel like Aquarius, uh, somebody had some kind of an epiphany, some kind of an awareness. Um, I feel like this person is hoping and praying and having some kind of hope and faith, wish fulfillment when it comes to you. They're highly thinking about you, memories of the past. Um, something with their intuition is going off, feeling like maybe they might get some triumph and success here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, angel numbers, I am seeing 111 and 77. This person could be in solitude right now or just doing a lot of reflecting. Maybe there was some kind of wake up call, spiritual awakening with them. Um, I am hearing that song, always something there to remind me. They're heavily thinking about you. Maybe everything is reminding you of them. Here's some kind of an apology, love offer, romantic uh, gesture, something like that. Offer of love. What's going on with Aquarius's person? I'm hearing that song too, Nothing Compares to You by Sinead O'Connor. They are holding back right now, though, or holding on to you. What's going on, Aquarius's person? We have Empress. So you could have a child with this person. Juggling the world. There could be distance here, travel. There is confusion going on. They could be contemplating, should I try to come back to Aquarius or should I walk away and close out this cycle? I do feel like they're in like hermit mode right now. They're doing a lot of thinking and reflecting. Yeah, they're stuck. This person's stuck. Why are they stuck? Two of Cups, because I feel like this person loves you and feels like this is a soul bond, like you're supposed to be together, but yeah, Tower came in, maybe feeling like the timing's not right, or they're getting, they've been patient, they're getting impatient now that something's not going to happen, commitment, house, home, leveling up, giving to two... There is heartache, pain, disappointment coming from your person. What happened here? I feel like Aquarius, this person really does want to come back, but they're kind of like, should I, shouldn't I? Do I, don't I? Do I close this cycle out? Do I walk away? Or do I try to talk to Aquarius and work this out? They're stuck. So let's see blockages. Like what happened here? Blockages, stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking, planting seeds is a blockage, putting in work and effort is a blockage, juggling is a blockage, we got Scorpio energy or Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a water sign here. And we have lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, the devil, Capricorn energy, Knight of Wands, player energy, Sagittarius energy. That's what I identify as player energy or passionately moving forward. And then the star, healing, having hope and faith, a wish fulfillment. There's heavy blockages here, but what? Were you sneaking around or were they sneaking around with a water sign a scorpio were they juggling and that's why this ended and now they have regrets was there some kind of temptation toxicity deception going on here we have aries single solo Independent with the moon. Hmm. Capricorn.
Four. Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And we have Gemini energy as a blockage. <sighs> Self sabotaging, wishy washy energy. Something not ending for something new to begin or transformation being blocked here. There, there's a lot of, there's a couple people blocking this. We have Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius. There, there's like people involved here. Let's see. Well, how does this person feel about you, Aquarius? There's Capricorn again. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I have like all the elements here. I have water, earth, fire, and air. The whole gang is here. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people involved. This person, how do they feel about you? They want commitment, house, home, leveling up, justice. They want things to be fair and balanced. Strength, confidence, courage. Queen of Cups now. I feel like they do love you. So what happened? They're feeling blocked, guarded, ignored, rejected. They're trying to manifest their wish fulfillment, which is Emperor energy, Aries energy. Trying to make a head over heart decision on what path do I go down and they just don't know. Maybe they don't know how you feel. The sun. We got the moon and the sun. Night and day. What's hidden coming to light. Gemini energy. Knight of swords. Wishy-washy. Self-sabotaging. Actions not matching words. And we have commitment, two of cups. What is this? <laughs> I feel like this person, the, you're their wish fulfillment. You made them happy. They, I feel like they want commitment. They want to level things up. They're feeling blocked, though. They could feel like you're happy if you have somebody else. So this could be like an ex that you guys broke up and you started seeing somebody else or they started seeing somebody else. And now it's like, but you're their happiness and they want commitment here. You're their soulmate. You're their, you're their person. Nothing compares to you. Divine timing, divinely waiting, going with the flow. You guys may not be in communication right now or talking. What is this person's intentions towards you? What is this person's intentions towards you? Victory and success. Moving things into calmer waters. Healing, the star, having hope and faith, communication. Like this, this person... They want to talk to you and they want to heal this and they want to move things into calmer waters. They're waiting with some kind of devil energy, toxicity. Feeling rejected by you or ignored by you. There's something toxic looming. What is this toxic energy? The Hermit, Aries energy, Gemini energy, something from the past, children, or childhood. Backstab, betrayal, painful ending, closing out a cycle or something with distance or a lesson, a karmic cycle, and rebuilding. 
they may feel like if they reach out to you, you're going to ignore them, reject them. Heartache, pain, disappointment. The world. Blocked. All right. This person, Aquarius, wants to come towards you, but they feel like if they do, they're, they're blocked. So they're kind of at the point where it's like, do I just give up and move on and walk away? I feel like you're not budging here, Aquarius. I feel like you're just, you're not budging. Let's see. So what are their next action steps? What are they going to do? All right, we have ignoring, rejecting, then a decision, then we have King of Cups, the Sun, Ten of Pentacles, family dynamic, loyalty, then we have house, home, commitment, leveling up. Okay, so this person may make a decision. Their next action steps, they're going to make a decision to give it maybe one last try to work things out here with you. They may send a text message or some kind something small, start off something small. Like, hi, how are you type of thing. Just to get a conversation going. They're trying to manifest a commitment with you, Aquarius. They're feeling so stuck though. They want a new beginning in love. That's their intention here. They're gonna try. This person's gonna try. What are you gonna do, Aquarius? What are you going to do? What are you gonna do? King of Pentacles. So Taurus energy. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, what are you going to do? You might try to get yourself grounded here. There you are, not waiting. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun. Um, is it with this person? Planting seeds. You're, you're going to yell at me. <laughs> Aquarius, you are. You're going to yell at me. I think some of you are going to try having a new beginning with this person. However, you are kind of still on the fence or you're iffy about it, but I feel like you are going to do it and then take it really slow. You're not going to like just rush into this, rush back into this. You're going to take it slow. You're going to be methodical. Yeah, you're going to reconcile. Some of you may walk away. Some of you might say no. I feel like I have to say say that I'm not here to tell you what to do, you guys. This is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. It can be flip-flopped, reversed. When I say your person, it could be you. Cross watcher, flip it if you need to. I feel like the last like few weeks, you guys, all of you, and all signs have been like attacking me. <laughs> the comments. I can't help if it's the past. I read my readings are peek at your person. If you guys as a collective are still attached to the past, that's what's gonna come through. Um, some of you are gonna reignite this flame. Some of you are going to reconcile. I, I feel like there's a water sign here. Scorpio, predominant, Cancer, Pisces. You're gonna have long-term happiness. I feel like there was something that kind of got in between the two of you here with these blockages. There was juggling. There was potentially other people here. Could have been friends, family, coworkers. Could have been a love interest. Something like that got in the way of this connection. 
And now I feel like there is a chance for this to be reconciled here. So what's going to happen if you do reconcile? Oh, yeah, long-term happiness. Page of Pentacles. Oop. Reconciliation. Temperance going with the flow, divine timing. And a whole bunch just fell on the floor. So what's the actual outcome here? I have walking away, Gemini energy, and then I have Empress and the children, childhood, yeah, two of cups, the past, taking a leap of faith with a Scorpio, putting in work and effort, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. manifesting I do have the emperor and empress here too so divine counterparts I feel like this is meant to be yeah here's healing I feel like you're gonna heal this some of you may walk away some of you are done some of you aren't taking this person back oh, what are you gonna be up to what are you doing there could be some drama that comes in. Is it from whoever is walking away from somebody that creates drama and tries to keep the other person stuck? I feel like you'll overcome that, though. Yeah. It's going to take a little time because I feel like somebody's closing out some kind of a karmic cycle or a lesson or some, some cycle for some kind of transformation or an ending for a new beginning here. So there's, there's other things at play here but all in all Aquarius I feel like you are going to work things out with this person and whatever it was that got in between the two of you it is going to be closed out but it might linger which could be why you're going to take it kind of slow just to be sure just to make sure all right so let's see any closing messages for Aquarius I keep hearing that song love me like you do Ellie Golding or whatever her name is. Let me like you do. Keep hearing that song. I don't know if that means anything. All right. Intuition. Gut feeling. Psychic premonition. Sixth sense. Breakup. Walking away. Ending. Separation. It's over. Uh, music. Musician. Uh, snake. Charmer. Harmony. Medellic. There could be songs that remind you of each other. Um... So intuition, breakup, music, unfinished business. It's not over patterns, baggage, back and forth, regret, mistake, guilt, apology, wrong choice, wedding, marriage forever, the one and union, friends, acquaintance, trust, support, loyalty. See what I mean? I, I feel like there's a situation where like you were with this person, there was a breakup, Somebody got involved with somebody else. Now they have regrets. That's ending. And the two of you are coming back together. That's how I'm seeing it. So. All right. What would this person like to say to you, Aquarius, if they could? What would they like to say to you? All right. My fantasy. You're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos I saved of you and use them for inspiration. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. Feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier to just stay silent. That's how I'm feeling. This person's kind of like, should I, shouldn't I? What do I say? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Is it the right time? Is it not the right time? So they are, they're feeling a little bit lost here. Uh, this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. And tears. When I think about you, I cry. Emotional intimacy. 
I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. So again, I'm seeing like, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. I want to, but I don't know what to do, you know? All right, let's get some letters, numbers, zodiac signs. Let's see who it is you're dealing with. All right, letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name, could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right, I have S G U Y M Q H R L. I'm also seeing C D W E. So C D W E S G Q H L R M Y U. All right, uh, zodiac signs. I told you I was seeing uh, seven seven. And 111, right? And oh, 22 two as well. All right, zodiac signs. We have Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Taurus again. Um, oops, Gemini. Gemini, Aquarius popped out too. So um, I'm also seeing Scorpio again. So Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You guys get bonus signs. There was a lot of people involved, so it doesn't surprise me. All right, um, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, uh, number of days, weeks, months, years, could be an age, could be an angel number. So let's see, we have one, three, five, and nine. So 13, 15, 19, 31, 51, 91, 35, 39, 59, 95, 93, 91. Play around with the numbers however you see fit, but it could be January, March, May, or September. All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. Love and light. Take care.